Hi everyone, Regina here with Starter PPC. I'm gonna quickly show you how you can see the data from all of your shopping ads all in one place and add them all up and get some totals, some averages, because I know that this is the most important data and Google just doesn't quite provide it to us in a clear and summarized way. So I'm gonna show you how it's pretty easy to get it. It just takes a few extra steps. So, um, this is this is a campaign. This is an account that sells um, high end furniture and we're spending most of the money on shopping ads. And I'm going to show you how I have even found that that information, because even though we're running, you know, some PMAX campaigns, some standard shopping campaigns, some dynamic display remarketing campaigns, it doesn't quite show me how much money is being spent on what network. And what I want to know is, are we spending the majority of the money on shopping ads because we have high-end products with very small budgets and we want to make sure we're um, putting most of it on the shopping network because the shopping network is very bottom of funnel and bottom of funnel is the place to start when you're small guys uh, you want to start at the bottom and move up to the top of the funnel so people that are looking at shopping ads those are the people that are looking at products they have their wallet in their hand and they're the most ready to buy compared to people that are looking for for example um video ads or outbound video, you know, people that are totally cold um, and you just want to warm them up to the brand, that would be very top of funnel or people that are looking for, you know, um, you know, well, in this case, there's no how to type searches for high end furniture. Maybe people who are like how to make your own high end furniture. But even then, they wouldn't really be a good market. These are very expensive products. OK, um, let's let's take a look. So. The first thing you're going to want to do is pull up your time window, of course, um, and then make sure your, your campaign status is all. You just want to see all the campaigns that spent money in that time window. And you want to make sure you don't have any other filters pulled up. And I'm a total hypocrite because I have one pulled up right now. Um, I just have cost is greater than a dollar because I wanted to just only show campaigns that spent at least a dollar during my time period. You could have that. You could have that filter pulled up. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is click over to products. Okay. Very important. Make sure you clicked over to products from the all campaigns view with no filters. If you have filters pulled up, your products view is going to be filtered by those filters. Um, and if you clicked on a campaign before going over to products, you're only seeing data from that campaign. So, um, make sure, you know, that you understand how Google is going to filter depending on the order in which you click on things inside of the account. Um, okay, so here we have a list of all like 700 products. Um, and it says these metrics are calculated from your shopping and your performance max campaigns. Got it, because those are the only campaigns that are actually showing um, on the shopping network. And when Google says products, it actually means shopping ads. So what we're going to do is because you can see here, that if you scroll to the bottom, it does not total anything for you. Like if you want to know what's the average cost per click, no idea. If you want to know, um, you know, how much was spent um, in total on these products showing shopping ads, no idea. Can't can't total it here. So you have to click download. Um, when you click download, it's going to ask you, you know, what what do you want to download it into? My preferred favorite is Google Sheets, but you can download it however you want. Um, make sure that when you click on Google Sheets, you sit and you wait for the Google Sheet to be populated because it's going to show you a little pop up at the bottom of the screen. Actually, let me do it right now and show you guys how it works. Google, Google Sheets. Hi there. Quick interruption. Do you know the main thing that prevents small business owners from getting their Google Ads account into a position to grow and scale? Budget. A lot of businesses, especially those that are just starting out, have limited budgets. And so because of this, they're turned away by most ad agencies because most ad agencies have minimum budget thresholds that they're willing to work with. So what happens is the business owners end up learning Google Ads themselves. And the problem with that is that most of the advice online is geared towards larger accounts. And the advice doesn't have any of those strategies or tricks that can kickstart the algorithm into giving a small account a leg up over larger competitors. So it often just doesn't work and the business just ends up losing money month over month. If this sounds familiar, Starter PPC can help. We offer Google Ads management services that are designed for accounts that have between $1,000 and $5,000 budgets. And 
because all of our clients are just starting out, we've come up with ways to keep our management fees significantly lower than most agencies. Because we know that every dollar saved on management fees just goes towards the ad budget, which is gonna help the algorithm gather speed and power. So if you're serious about growing your business and you'd like a team of Google Ads experts to help you without breaking the bank, check us out at starterppc.com. Okay, back to the video. Um, download. And it says preparing report. You have to kind of like stay here while it's preparing the report because it's going to show you a pop-up when, and, and, you know, the sheet's going to be ready and then you're going to want to click open sheet from here. Okay. And if you, if you miss this pop-up, I don't even know if this sheet exists anywhere. It probably does, but it's going to be lost somewhere in your, in your Google drive. All right. So you click open sheet. It opens in a new window, all of this data, and then you can start to um, create some formulas to see some averages, right? So I've already done this. What I did is I um, like I froze the top. I cleaned it all up, right? So I'm 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 gonna like freeze these top two rows. Um, I, I created this blank row so that I could start totaling, and then I made some formulas like sum equals the summary of all of these. That's gonna show me how many impressions did we spend on the shopping network so far, or did we show? Um, cost. This is really what I wanted to get to. How much money have we spent on the total? Um, in totality for shopping ads. So I summarized this column and that tells me, okay, out of the total that we spent on the account minus this amount of money, which we've spent on products, meaning shopping ads, um, there was only $271 remaining on non-shopping ads that we've spent. So that's actually a good thing. This is a great ratio right now. Since we, we're very limited by budget, I want to spend like at least 80% of the budget on, on shopping ads. So it's working. Um, yeah, I can get an average cost per click, uh, average click-through rate. Um, I can sort. I can... Um, you know, uh, sort by which products were spent, uh, spent the most, which products have really high CPCs. And this is a great way to do some deep diving. And then from here, you can go back into your account and say, okay, I think I want to um, lean into a certain type of product because we haven't really spent much on that product. And I think it's going to work better than the products that have sold. So that way, you know, you can, there's various ways to do that. And I'll have to save that video for another day, but you know, you might want to readjust the budgets and lean into certain categories of products um, so that you can manipulate um, which products are showing and um, make the products that Google's just wasting money on show less. All right. So I hope this has been a quick and helpful video to see your total shopping network data. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, Senior Client Manager Mel here with Solutions Age. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, smaller clients who don't have the budget or the resources to have things like North Beam and Triple Whale and how I manage their um, MER week over week. Um, I've created a spreadsheet.